welcome back to KGF TV. I'm of course joined with Dad. Dad, how are you today? Fine, thank you very much. And uh, a bit how weird, are you? we've, uh, I'm alright, we've changed position. We have today. We've moved our front room around, so we're going to have to be here from now on. Um, but it's not too bad, is it? No. I think it's a bit better. The sun is shining. Yeah, it's a nice day out, so it's not it really is. nice, but the sun's out. Sun's out, guns out, that's what I say. And Dad, what have you got on? Berry FC. New Berry FC shirt came. This is my birthday present from Jack. It come uh, a couple of days Finally, ago, so I'm going to weeks ago. Yeah, so I'm going to wear it in this video. So come on, all you Berry you fans. You should be wearing it in every video, right? Shall I? No. Okay. Um, but yes, we are back with Premier League Roundup Week Nine. Uh, it wasn't the best week from us. Berry AFC, sorry, what AFC, Berry FC. Wow. By the fans, for the fans. Wow. Anyway. Um, yeah, so let's get straight into the roundup. Not we a very good week for no, us. No, we were a bit poor this week, miles off. Yeah, but let's get straight into it. So, uh, right, we'll, we'll uh, get into the first one, which was Newcastle United nil, Chelsea 2. Now, you said 3-1. I think every, every person with a normal head... Would predict a Chelsea win there, except yes. one person. Yes, I predicted a draw. Because you're an idiot. 2-2, two, two, I said, and you said 3-1. Yeah, I thought Newcastle might score, but I forget that, you know, big so, Andy. Um, you got a point. Of course I get a point, because I put Chelsea down to win, because it was Chelsea got to be contenders for the title, in my opinion. That's quite right. But, uh, yeah, the next one, this was a bit of a strange one. This was a bit of a strange one. Go this from beating a, a low-end team to Brighton. Yes, <laughs> Liverpool and Arsenal, yeah. low-end. <laughs> Um, and uh, we're not going to say crap, Steve Snelling. Well, he's you need to say the He's told me off, he told me off. Why? Because I used to keep saying crap all the time, so I've told him I'm not going to say crap. Why? Okay. So I've crap? just said it three times crap. in ten seconds. Shit. <laughs> anyway, he's being nasty now, Stevie PV. Anyway, go on. Anyway. Villa 1, Brighton 2. Yes, Aston Villa 1, Brighton and Ove Albion 2. Who predicted that? I predicted a draw. 2-2 two, two draw, I said. Danny Wowbeck. Super Danny, the old gooner. Super, super da super Danny Wowbeck. Yeah. Have him back, I would. I would, yeah. Yeah, 2-1 Brighton. What was, uh, what was our predictions? Yours was 2-1 Villa. Yeah. And I was 2-2. Two, two. So you were closer. So, because Brighton scored two and I said two, do I get half a point? No. Nope. Okay then, so no scores on the doors. It doesn't one. work like that, okay. Terence. Okay then, Jackson. That's not my name though, is it? Your name's actually Terence. Next game, the Scum versus Manchester City, and it was 2-0 to them. Now we both said 3-2 Man City. Who's the Scum? Well, they are the Scum, eh? Who? Spurs. <laughs> Spurs, they call them. Spurs, the yeah, Spurs. The Spurs. No, I, um, I thought City would win this game, but City are rubbish. They're yeah, terrible this they're season. Need yeah. new manager, that's what I say. De Bruyne's not looking like himself. I think he might want to leave. Um... But yeah, I mean, they were poor. Very. You know, they dominated the game, but defensively they're shambolic. They're worse than Arsenal. Um, there's a new video out now. It's it's uh, it's not thirteen ninety nine. It's twenty ninety nine. We are top for a week. <laughs> you've got to pay a little bit more because you've got a few days added on. So come on, all you scumbles, go and buy it. Anyway, you we're said meant to be, we're meant not we're meant not to be biased. We're not biased. You are. I don't like them. Anyway. We both said 3-2 Man City, we were both wrong, we didn't get any Yeah, uh, any that's points. fair enough. Right, so are we happy to move on? Yeah. What was that for? Okay, next game, Manchester United won. This was absolutely West Bromwich Albion nil. I didn't see it, Jack saw it. This was absolutely terrible. This referee, he was the same ref, I can't remember his name, he was the same ref, that ref on VAR, the Liverpool Everton game. And didn't give the penalty. Where he absolutely should have sent off Pickford, should have had a, that offside. Yeah. And now he goes, and then they got rid of him, right? Liverpool contested to the FA to get rid of him because he was meant to play in the uh, Liverpool match. Oh, was he? Um, but they said they didn't want him because they think he's got something against Liverpool. So he goes on to the United game. He's a Man United fan, then. I think he is because it was absolutely shambolic. Bruno Fernandes. Hit one of West Brom's players' shin. I think it was McAllister or something. I did see that. I did see it that. It was a clear and obvious penalty. He went to check the monitor, and he said no. Yeah. <coughs> Absolutely. I've got a cough, Dad. I can see. <coughs> Absolutely shocking. And then thirty seconds later, I didn't see it. 
handball and his hand was here and the ref gave it it's absolutely shambolic I think the FA need to look into that ref because I think he's a United fan I was he bold? Was... no no, oh. no no it was absolutely horrific refereeing that match West Brom played superb they deserved the win but uh, they got cheated they should have had a penalty should have gone 1-0 up De Gea was Man United's best player but then again Johnstone uh, the West Brom goalkeeper was their best player so it was quite an end-to-end -end game but it deserved more West Brom they got cheated by the ref well anyway you said 4-1 what's happened there? and I nearly hiccuped oh. and I said 4-0 yeah because you've nicked the last can of coke so I, I, I go thirsty so um, we've got a point each for the win but not three because we're miles, miles off, off really, yeah. <laughs> next game Fulham 2 Everton 3 I was so close, I was. You was, yeah, you said 3 so 1. 3 1. I knew Fulham would score. And I said 2 0 Everton, so. It was, I'll tell you something as well, they missed the penalty, Fulham, they ballooned it again. Um, their penalties, they've had three penalties, I think, this season, and they've missed all of them. Three different penalty takers. Not as worse as that Penenka one. But, um, yeah, they dominated Everton, to be honest. The first, did you watch it then? I did, yeah, they scored after 40 see. seconds, Everton. They went 2 0 up. Uh, no, they didn't, it went to 1 1. Then it went to 3-1, then it went to 3-2. In the last 10 minutes, Fulham could have had about five goals. But, um, yeah, Everton held on, and they're finally back to winning ways. But they were predicted to be up there in top four. I can't see that. They're not playing very well anymore. No. But, um, but anyway, we both got a point each. I said 3-1. What did you say? 2-0. Two two yeah, we got a point. So that's not too bad. We got that right. Okay, we got the next one wrong. Yeah. Sheffield United nil, West Ham won, and we both said a 1-1 draw. Well, I've, it, it looked like it was going to be nil-nil the whole match. I watched this one as well. Hilaire scored a very good goal outside. First goal outside the box in his career. And he's like 25, so it's not, not the best, is it? There you go. But, uh, yeah, West Ham got the win. Um, I didn't think they would. Antonio's been missing, but... They're down, aren't they? Sheffield United are down. They're, they're rubbish. One, they're one point. They're already like seven, six points away from relegation. I can't see it happening. I don't no. think they're six points. I think they're like five. But no, I think so. It's, yeah... Anyway, now for the worst game of the weekend, the most worst boring. performance of the weekend, the most boring game of the weekend. Leeds nil, Arsenal nil. I said two one Arsenal. You said three one Arsenal. Dear oh dear oh. Uh, but dear. I did say in the video that if he put out the wrong lineup, we'd lose. But he didn't, did he? Uh, I mean, he put out a lineup that everyone wanted to see, but he still parked the bus. We were that poor against Aston Villa. You wouldn't have thought we'd have played. We played first worse. 25 I didn't think we was too bad nah, we got battered from 90 but I don't think um, I think if Leeds were still playing today they uh, they wouldn't have scored yeah. 24 attempts couldn't score in a brothel yeah that's like our best got best player was Leno I yeah. mean he made some great saves yeah. they hit the post three times they only had four on target I know because they hit the post three times well, well, we got super lucky in that game. Um, we could have had a goal. We, we should, should have, have won it at the end. We should have, have had a penalty. Yeah, should have had a penalty. Clear and obvious penalty. Yeah, they worked for Man United, but he it went didn't like work that, for us. and then he moved into the ball. For me, that's a penalty. Not biased. I mean, even if it, like you said, if it was for United, Liverpool, yeah, it would have been a clear. They'd given it. If it was well, against it us, it, it proved it, didn't it? Yeah, if it was, that was more of a penalty than the one at United. Yeah. Pepe sending off. Um, yeah, it was definitely. I mean, what was all that about? He just headbutted him. I mean, well, it wasn't an headbutt, was it? No, he should have though. If and when he got the red card, he got it and run off the bloke. Nothing wrong yeah, with him. No, I know, but I, I mean, I just find it funny. I mean, if you're going to headbutt him. Headbutting, yeah. yeah, you know. But why I mean, would a grown bloke stand there, hold his face, and collapse? Yeah, because if he didn't, he wouldn't have been sent off, probably. Cheating, really, isn't it? Kind of. A lot. Pepe shouldn't do it. It's poor free no, match no, man. No. Is it three? Yeah. Although he had been very good, as he no, said. Misses might... Wolves, Tottenham, and Burnley. So we might miss him in the Tottenham match when we part the bus. We need someone to yeah. counter attack. I think we'll win. No, nah, anyway, we ain't got a chance. We're mid table team. We both said you said three when I said two on Arsenal. Um, got Wolves next, that'll be a good loss. No, we'll beat them. No chance, mate. So, uh, no points. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Liverpool 3, Leicester City 0. Now, you, now you ranted two. on about Art Arnold, <coughs> whatever his name is, Van Dyke, Salah got COVID, yeah. somebody else. <coughs> Can't see Liverpool winning. I did say Fabinho was out, but he wasn't. He played. If, yeah. the, if I knew Fabinho played, I would have changed. Rubbish. No, I wouldn't. Can't see Liverpool winning. <laughs> and, you uh, said the same. They, well, I didn't even know if they was in or out. I don't follow them. Can't stand them. 
the old bin dippers. Anyway, they beat Leicester 3-0, 3-0. And we both said 3-1 Leicester. Well, I did genuinely, I thought, because, you know, no Salah. Where'd you get that from, then? My hat. Oh. No Salah, yeah, no Trent, no Van Dyke, no Joe Gomez. No. What, I mean, I didn't watch the match. No, I because didn't. Because you disconnected our sky. Oh, uh, yeah, we so moved, yes. So what the hell we must have happened? I mean, how's Vardy not scoring goals against donkeys at the back? But Diego Jota looks very good. Firmino, He's after gone, doing well there, isn't he? That Firmino, Jota? after about three years, has scored a goal at Anfield. Whee! Did he score, did he? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely most overrated striker in the world. Anyway, we both said 3 1, so we both got that wrong yet again. Mm -hmm. We were poor this week, weren't we? Uh huh. I'm not going to swear, but it begins with P. Yeah. P, Paul. You trying to say piss? No, I'm not going to swear because Steve Snelling told me off. Okay. Anyway, I got this one. Yeah, you did. Burnley won, <laughs> Crystal Palace nil. First now, game I, of the season they've won. It is. I said they got to turn the corner against Dodgy Palace. You said 3-1 Palace. I said 2-1 Burnley, but it all was I'm a 1-0 win. All I'm saying is I wouldn't have said that, but two hours before the game, Wilfred Zaha got covid did he? Yeah, so that's why okay. he didn't play. If he would have played, I think the game would be changed. Oh, well, I didn't know that. I do apologise. I didn't if, know that. If I knew that, I probably would have gone for a draw, so I'd have still got it wrong. But because I think Wilfred Zaha is, is a top, top player. He's a good I think he can He's change a, a game gooner. like that. But uh, yeah, two hours before the game, we got COVID, so he couldn't play. Um, so I guess they just lack luster. Batchway and Mr. Sitter. But uh, yeah, 1 0 Burnley. They're off and running. Fair play to them. Point for me, nothing for you. Happy place, happy place, Turf Moor. Turf Moor's happy. We've been up there a couple of times, haven't we? I'm guessing you don't know what that means. No. <coughs> I've got something in my throat. Yeah. On a I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here, there's a guy that's a um, Burnley fan, and he was doing a trial with spiders and stuff, and he was he was there saying, happy place, happy place, Turf Moor. So a Burnley player at the end of the match went on to an interview, and he went, happy place, happy place, Turf Moor. Did he? So he obviously watches it as well. Yeah, it was Jay Rodriguez. But yeah, I just found that quite funny. Jamie yeah. Carragher made him say it. Okay. Last there game. Last game. Bit of info for you there. Of course, I got this right. I don't watch that rubbish. I you don't. Go. You did that one year with Holly Willoughby. Oh, Holly Willoughby. Well, who wouldn't have? I said I couldn't call it, so I went for a draw. It was a draw. Yes, 2-2. Two, two. No, it was 1-1. One, one. Uh, no, you said 2-2, two, 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 yeah. yeah. I said 2-1 Southampton. It should have been 2-1 Southampton. Theo Walcott was put through on a plate and he missed. Should have scored one-on-one -on -one and he missed. What was this? When they before Wolves equalised. I was going to say, I must not seen And he scored Theo as well. Yeah, as I said, I, I, watched the game. I watched the last 15 minutes. I watched the Wolves goal. Uh, they had another goal, Wolves, but it was disallowed for offside. Yeah. They dominated in the last 10 minutes, Wolves. I thought, do you know what I thought? I was scared for a minute because I knew you said 2 1 Southampton. I thought they might catch him on the break and score. Yeah, Theo should have put it So I was done. very, very like, scared. And I was kind of hoping Wolves would score and then Southampton would score and it would be 2 2. But it ended 2 it ended 1 1 and you I get a point. You which you means. Get I think I've won a week. You have. You've won 4 to 3. I've won a week, boys. So you're We're now catching on, up. You're now on 25, and I'm on 38. We're catching up. We're catching no. up. We're catching up. We were poor this week. Anyway, is that the ending? Is that the end of the Premier? Do you want any more rant about anything? I, I ain't going to rant about Arsenal. I did no. that last time. Yeah. Anyway, Cheltenham Town 3, Warsaw 0. I said 3-1 Cheltenham. You said... 2-1 Cheltenham. 2-0, I think. 2-1, two, 2-0. Two, two, yeah. um, a Dan, a Dan Scar own goal. This was all in the second half, because I think it was 0-0 at half-time. Matty Blair and Ben Tozer. And it's pushed them up now to second in the league. I think they'll get automatic promotion, to be quite honest. Also, that up well. the Wanderers. Which Wanderers? Bolton. Bolton got another Wanderers win. Got another three. win. Yeah. They're, they're, so, they're, uh, they're only a few points off playoffs now. Yeah, Bolton They're finally going mingling well. as a team, and they've got two... Two games against near the bottom of the table, so I hope they can do it because yeah. I, I like Bolton. Bolton are similar to, to, to Berry, like, yeah, they almost went into administration, but they've clawed Just out clawed and ever. now they're starting to grow. And your mates so. are Bolton season, and my mates are any Bolton fans, so you know, we like to see, we like to see it. Yeah, so anyway, next game up for Cheltenham is tonight, which is Tuesday, the 24th, is their home to Cambridge United, and uh, we will review that one on Friday. Anyway, do you like my shirt? No. 
No? Okay. I, I, I'll tell you something, it's nice. I don't like that. Right. Yeah, I, I don't like the stripe down the middle of two different colours. Other than that, I can't Open like Money, it. Open Money. Good sponsor is Open Money. You should have a name on the back. Who? You. Because oh. you're, you're, a, you're a shareholder. Oh, okay. You should have your name on, um, on the st in the stadium. Yes, I should do. I'm a shareholder in Berry. I don't know how much, but I'm a shareholder. <laughs> like Berry, what, Berry AFC. Berry AFC, not Blackpool Berry. game's been moved to next June, so we could go to that. Yeah. May, June, so we'll go up to that one. Have they got a game at all? Oh, no, yeah. so it's cancelled, isn't next it? Next December the 2nd. Yeah, the after, the next one. yeah after, Daisy after. Hill. Um, Daisy. Daisy Hill. Oh, stupid oh, no. name for some There's people. some crap teams in that. Well, one. is that it? That's the ending, mate, yeah. Well. I'm in the lead. Yeah. And you're well. not. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I won this week. That's the first week I've been yeah. won, though. So we're, we're on I'll our I'll give you this week. We're on our way. We're on our way. Yeah. To winning this. Yeah, rubbish. For you to get eggs on your head. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be the end of the video. If you have enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. Go down there and subscribe. Don't be sexual. No. Go down there, subscribe, share, like, yes. comment what you thought about this weekend in the Premier League. Please view and share. View and view subscribe. and share. And, and if you can, subscribe. It's free. Subscribe. It's free. We're still on the way to 100. We are. That'd be a really nice milestone for us, I think. It was not far off, about what, 13, I think. Or like 89 or something. Something like that, 87. Yeah, so like make that. sure you subscribe. And like I said, if you have subscribed and you're enjoying the content, why not press share and go on Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, share it with all your friends. Share it with your friends. Facebook, friends. If you're on Twitter, share exactly. it. Exactly, share. Just click the share want. button. That's all you need to grow as a do. channel. And yeah. Um, yeah, so that's going to be the end of the video. And we will see you guys soon. Friday. Friday for another Premier for League, another one. Alice FA Cup, isn't it this weekend? No. Yeah, it's Cheltenham play Crew. FA Cup this weekend. FA Cups this weekend, second round. Oh, so I don't so care about that. It. Well, you will do because we'll be third round to be drawn next. Oh, uh, well, third round, yeah, but Europa yeah. League's up soon. So oh, it is. Yeah, we'll yeah. do a Europa League round no, really for will. the Arsenal anyway. We'll have a chat about we'll it. We'll see you guys later. And Dad, what should they do? You stay safe there. Why have you made me a point? Well, I wanted to. <laughs>